You're watching Big 12 Now on ESPN+. Plus. It is an overcast Saturday afternoon in Waco, Texas, as we welcome you to the Baylor Ballpark. Game two of three on the weekend between the Baylor Bears and the Incarnate Word Cardinals from Waco. Per hour wind out to right center. So the, the second straight night, the wind will blow out of this ballpark. Really into the alleyway as an opportunity for hitters today. Maybe not against Colin McKinney. He starts off like he ended against Cincinnati with a strikeout. Six combined runs in the first inning last night between the two sides. And it caught a word will not contribute very of the bar again. Teams did. They're going to try and schedule yeah, something, no doubt. especially in state. Yeah, in state and this time of year, that ball's hit. Wesley Jordan puts a charge into it. No doubter off the scoreboard. Baylor strikes first. Pitcher like Zavala, of course, a graduate player, but uh, this ball hit as well. Yeah, it's a Plansky, puts a charge into it. Right center field. That one will carry, and that one is gone. Jordan flies this one into left. Tough play. No one home. It strikes for another Baylor run. Jordan will take off to second. Throw. Held on to by the cutoff man and the Bears. Scratch one across, an RBI single from Wesley Jordan. Solidified the middle of this order for Baylor. Here he is again into center field. That will drop for a base hit. Two runs will score, and the Bears lead it six to nothing in the second. The one, two. Got him swinging on the high fastball. 93 miles an hour elevated for the sixth strikeout for Colin McKinney. Player, at least get a piece of it. He gets a piece of this one, puts it in the left center field. That'll score a run, an RBI single for Toplansky and Baylor. Back up by five. Keep working the cut, as they continue to say. Is this one into right? Tough play. In comes Tormos. He can't get there. It falls for another. RBI single. This one belongs to Zach Meza. Right side and into right field for a base hit. They'll send the runner around third to Plansky to the plate. Throw is not in time. RBI single for Cole Posey. I haven't seen that nearly as much, especially if you can get down like that. This one will get down into right center. The hit parade continues for the Baylor offense, and they've put 10 on the board for the second straight day. In that 10 to 9 loss to UNO. Apodaca goes opposite field. Calabrese can't get there, and it falls for a base hit. Apodaca with an RBI single, extending his hitting streak to nine games. It's a fluid situation, and it's the 2025 cap that's been really tough as this one swung on and missed. Ten strikeouts now for McKinney. Third double-digit strikeout performance for Baylor pitching this year, and the second straight for Colin McKinney. Yeah, it's really outstanding for him, and two weekends in a row with double-digit Ks. Followed by Lamar and then New Orleans. As Jordan hits this well, deep in the left center field, it'll be his second of the day. The power bat of Wesley Jordan strikes again. Going on in that Baylor dugout at the moment. Slow grounder to the right side. Chance for two. On to second for one. Throw to first. Not in time. A run scores from third. Altman makes it 13 to two. May see, especially with it being a nine inning full ball game. Chance for two here. Four, six. There's the three. Two down. Oh, and the pickoff move to first works to perfection. Calabrese caught leading at the bat, and he's picked off by Ethan Calder. The inning comes to a close. There's a rip ball down the left field line, all the way to the wall. Cade Fletcher takes the big turn, and he'll have a two-out double. Second double of the season for Fletcher. That one right down the middle, strike three, and Baylor takes the series from Incarnate Word, 15 to three.